Hey YouTubers, this is Chris. I'm here to do a um, music update video. Taking a break from the uh, Gimme 10 series, though I should be back with a 1965 um, fairly soon. But this is just some uh, an assortment of albums that I've picked up over the past uh, you know month or two. A variety of styles folk and country and some jazz and some progressive just you know whatever so starting with uh, this one is a country album an early uh, John Loudermilk album that I do not have country love song so this is uh, subtitled 30 Minutes of Uninterrupted Uninter Mood Music with Orchestra, conducted by Rick Powell, John D. Loudermilk. Break My Mind uh, was one of his songs uh, on the RCA label, this black RCA. This was uh, late 60s. 68, yeah. And then another country album, Waylon Jennings, Leaving Town, also on the uh, Black RCA. This is 66. So another one, you know, I was missing this early Waylon Jennings album. Nice to get that. Uh, then we move over to the UK. So the Song Wainers. Wasn't familiar with them. This is 1971 on the Argo label. Got some, uh, you know, British folk. Uh, they do Bright Phoebus, which I'm sort of familiar with from the. Watersons and the, the people that helped them. Tom Bedlam song, John Barleycorn. So some classic folk on here. And then this one was one I wasn't didn't know about, but you know, it sounded intriguing. Jim McGeehan of Ships and Men. So more folk, uh, you know, a lot of uh, just vocal approach on this, on uh, the Greenwich Village label. Songs from the Great Days of Sail. Uh, this was 1978. Jim McGeehan. You know, this one I was pleasantly surprised with, that it, it was as good as I was hoping. Uh, another one along that vein, the X Siemens Institute, uh, the Southport, South Street Seaport on uh, Folkways label. So, more... Uh, Sailing oriented uh, folk songs. 1973. And then I picked up this. Uh, this is Christy Moore, 1984 album, Ride On. This is an Irish uh, release on Warner Electra Asylum. W E A. So, Christy Moore from uh, Planksty, UK folk. And I picked up this uh, box set of the Copper family. A song for every season. The singing tradition of the Copper family of Rotterdine, Sussex. 
So this is a 4LP box set on the leader label. A lot of uh, you know, unaccompanied folk singing on here. So very good. And then to round out this sort of theme of folk, uh, Peter Bellamy from the water, I mean from a Young Tradition, sings more songs from the Puck Stories by Rudyard Kipling. And also has uh, involvement, uh, Dolly Collins is on here. So this is also on the Argo label. 1972, Peter Bellamy. And then the one sort of, you know, one that doesn't fit in with all the rest, uh, Buddy Causey. Dixie Fried, so this is kind of uh, Southern rock, funk, soul uh, music, 1977. Yeah. Hadn't heard this before, but it looked intriguing at the uh, Antique Mall. Uh, this is on the Land Arc label. Again, never heard of the Land Arc label. But, uh, you know, Buddy Causey seems to be the only album he, he put out. Has some singles, though. Southern uh, rock, funk, soul type music. Then uh, some UK jazz from 1967. This is uh, Stan Tracy. In person, solo piano. Uh, this is uh, before he did a little more, was a little more improvisational or freer. So, but still, solo piano. Uh, this is on the Columbia label. Nineteen sixty-seven. And then uh, some more solo piano, but or sort of very solo. This is uh, Conlon Nancaro. Complete studies for player piano. So this is so solo. There's not even a pianist involved. Just the player piano. Uh, this was. Um, Around 1976 or 77. This is volume one in a series of several. But Conlon Nancaro composing for player piano. So didn't need to have a pianist involved, or it was might even have been thought to be too difficult for a pianist on the. Uh, 1750 arch label and then also picked up volume two in the series I forget how f it goes on to you know three four or five but Volume two. Uh, then another sort of British folk album, C Keith Christmas, Brighter Day, uh, on Manticore from 1975. Uh, this might be past his uh, prime desirable albums, but you know, the price was right for me to give it a try. Has some uh, interesting musicians involved. Uh, Greg Lake, Pete Sinfield, Ian Wallace, Ian McDonald, Mel Collins, Neil Hubbard. So a lot of musicians that were more in the uh, progressive vein. Um, 
Tom Cochran and Red Ryder uh, of Lunatic Fringe fame. Uh, this is, uh, that's the title of it. Tom Cochran and Red Ryder from 19... 86 on the Capital Rainbow label. Got this uh, punch out hole up there in the corner. Then some guitar improvisation. Uh, Henry Kaiser and Fred Frith. Who Needs Enemies? This is uh, sort of goes with another one of a similar title. Uh, this is on the Metal Language uh, label. Nineteen eighty three. So two guitars. Uh, doing improvisational music. And another one was, uh, you know, Nucleus with Ian Carr, 1975 on Sire. Snake Hips. Snake hips, etc. So, more in that uh, sort of sort of jazz uh, vein, jazz rock. Um, a couple of new albums to round out the the vinyl section. Um, I'd seen some other people show. I don't know if it was this one or the other one, but uh, I picked up Steve Earle album called Towns. So this is a tribute to Towns Van Zant. Uh, a two LP set on uh, New West. There was a special on uh, eBay from uh, Import CDs, which, you know, if you spent $65, you got 20% off. So that encouraged me to uh, splurge on this and get. So it was you know, around $20 before the discount. And then the one that started all this was the most recent one. Um, Steve Earle with the album Guy. So this is a tribute to Guy Clark. So another two LP set on uh, New West. Part of that same 20% off deal. So thanks to the VC for cluing me into those so I could spend money. And then the last one in this section uh, the Bobs. I think this is their first album from 1983. So, acapella pop music, I guess, on uh, the Kaleidoscope label. The Bobs. And then just a few CDs to, uh, you know, wrap things up. Um, third Ear Band, Hydrogen Jukebox. Uh, this is a 1998 uh, release. So they were uh, progressive folk back when they started in the uh, 60s or early 70s. Uh, duology. This is uh, Lowell Coxhill on sax and Howard Riley on piano. So, uh, sax piano duo LP, sort of improvisational jazz. Uh, Black Sun Ensemble. So, sort of uh, ethnic psych from uh, Phoenix, I think. 
produced on uh, Slow Burn out of uh, Australia, 2008. Jesus uh, Akedo was the lead guitarist. I think he passed away recently. Another one from them, uh, Behind Purple Clouds. So sort of uh, psychedelic tinged music. Also on Slow Burn. Uh, this is Solo Piano by uh, Herbert Hank. So two LP set on uh, ECM. One CD is... Uh, Dedicated to John Cage compositions, sonatas and interludes, and the second one is called Locations, which is uh, improvisations by Herbert Hank, the uh, pianist. And another one, Variations for Piano and Tape by William Bazinski on... Uh, this is 2006. On the 2902 label, it looks like. So sort of low key. Oh. Musex International. But Anyway, kind of low-key uh, piano-based music, but as it says, for piano and tape. A uh, little bit more country. I picked this up at a real good price. Uh, Lyle Lovett, Step Inside This House, a uh, two-disc two set on uh, Curb MCA from 1998. And um, I got this sort of tied in with some of the earlier British folk. Lal Watterson, Teach Me to Be a Summer's Morning, a portrait of Lal Watterson. Uh, put out by Topic, so it's uh, in a book format with a CD of her music. And then this kind of diary uh, booklet style photos and uh, drawings and writings by her. You know, part of the Watterson family. So, Lyle Watterson, Teach Me to Be a Summer's Morning Book. And accompanying music. And then I got this uh, Gentle Giant compilation scraping the barrel three audio discs one data disc over 12 hours of music and more so this is uh, you know, a booklet gentle giant Three discs of music, one disc of uh, other stuff, MP3s, might be a quick time movie. You know, just uh, odds and ends across from the uh, you know, discography or across the uh, whole time of their, the history of Gentle Giant. And then the last thing I picked up recently, again, you know, it was a real good price, was just this uh, Led Zeppelin box set. Called, called Box Set 2. 
So it says this is all the stuff that was uh, left off of the other box set. This is a BMG Record Club issue. So uh, two discs, two CDs. And that's all I've got for this and um, for this Saturday evening. This is brought to you by, uh, oops, Evil Twin Brewing, a Molotov Cocktail, which says it's an Imperial India Pale Ale with mango and orange added, but some people might call it a... Uh, rather than a double pale ale, a triple pale ale, because this one's 12% uh, by volume. Uh, but luckily it's not a pint size can, so only semi-dangerous, not totally. So thanks everyone and see you later.